in section 10.3, we have the design of short columns. So here we have, uh, first we have brace, so the effective length divided by the radius of gyration. If that's less than 25, uh, it's deemed short, or we have a more complicated method using alpha C and the strength of the concrete and the ratio of the bending moments at the top and bottom of the column. Uh, for the unbraced case, the effective length on the radius of gyration has to be less than 22. So the radius of gyration here is 0.3D for rectangular and 0.25D for circular. Here we have section 10.4, the design of slender columns. Uh, as previously mentioned, the thing what the biggest difference between a short column and the slender column is the short column uh, derives strength from the individual cross sections, whereas the slender column has a secondary bending moments, which is shown with the moment modification factor here. So section 10.4.2, we have a brace column. Here we have the moment modification factor with a value uh, km divided by 1 minus n star uh, divided by nc, with km a function of the moment at the top of the column and the bottom of the column. So the harder it's working, the greater the modification factor here. And also if there is uh, taking lateral forces, the, the column, then the km value must equal one. Here we have section 10.4.3 uh, with his, an unbraced column. So this is the maximum of the uh, delta B, which we previously calculated for braced, or uh, delta S. So delta B takes into account the individual column, whereas delta S takes into account uh, how hard all the columns on the entire level are working. So you take the greatest of these two values for the moment modification. Also for slender columns, the next check we need to do which we don't have to do for short columns is that of buckling. So here we have uh, the, the buckling formula. So pi, which is a function of the effective length, uh, the depth of the neutral axes, and the moment at a certain value of KU, and uh, one plus BD, which as explained in the commentary, takes into account the uh, creepage effects. So the value of MC is calculated as I previously mentioned here with at a value or a point of uh, KU equals 0.545 and thigh equals 0.6. So here we've got a quick example here with 500 by 600 column uh, and the depth of neutral axis here is 245. So we have to find the moment capacity of the column with this value of KU and then we can finally get the buckling capacity. Thank you.